Since 1957, Maxon has been the leader in liftgate innovations that deliver higher reliability, enhanced productivity, and lower cost of ownership. From the invention of the first tuck-away gate in 1957 to industry-leading achievements like the BMRA column lift, GPT premium tuck-away, GPTLR level ride tuck-away, and DMD, the first direct medium-duty rail lift, to the latest advancements that make lift gates smarter, safer, and more reliable. Maxon helps you surpass your fleet's efficiency goals. This video will introduce you to the operation and features of the Maxon BMR column style liftgate. This course is broken down into three sections. Section 1, Introduction, will review the BMR and its numerous features. Section 2, Safety, We'll discuss important safety issues to be considered before and during the operation of the BMR liftgate. Section 3, Operation, discusses deploying, loading, unloading, and stowing the liftgate. Maxon's industry-leading BMR column lift liftgate has been designed to help maximize a fleet's efficiency. Note that the BMR offers many different optional features that may or may not be on your specific unit. In this video, we will always point these features out as optional. Now, let's cover some liftgate terminology. The BMR is a column lift style liftgate, which attaches to the rear frame of a truck or trailer. The BMR is made up of columns, chain assemblies, runner assemblies, a platform main and a foldover section. The platform is connected to runner assemblies that move up and down within the columns. The platform features a fixed ramp or an optional aluminum retention ramp or optional cart stops. The BMR is equipped with automatic hydraulic lock valves at the top of the columns. These valves unlock and lock automatically when the control switch is activated. The gate lifts hydraulically. The hydraulic pressure is created by an electric motor that connects to a pump. This motor gets its power from either the truck batteries or an auxiliary battery pack, which is charged by the alternator of the truck or tractor. There are two liftgate control locations. The main control is located on the side of the right column and can only be accessed when standing on the ground. It enables you to raise, lower, fold and unfold the platform. If your BMR is equipped with the optional power down on demand, then the main control, as well as the runner switch, feature a push button that allows you to turn it on and off. The runner switch is located on the right-hand runner and allows the operator to raise and lower the platform while standing on the platform. Next, let's review the pump box controls. A master disconnect switch is located on the front of the pump box. If this switch is in the off position, it cuts the power to the liftgate. On a single pump configuration, this switch is either in the one or off position. On an optional dual pump configuration, this switch provides three selection options. The first option is the off position. This selection cuts power to both pumps. And the second and third selection options, one or two, powers either pump one or pump two. All Maxon lift gates are shipped with an operation manual. This manual should be located in your vehicle or can be accessed and downloaded at www.maxonlift.com slash products slash column lift slash BMR. Hard copies can be ordered free of charge from Maxon customer service at 1-800-227-4116. It is essential that you read and understand this manual prior to operating the liftgate. Pay particular attention to the safety and operation warnings found on page 6 of the manual. Incorrect operation of the liftgate can result in serious personal injury to you or other persons in the area of operation. Comply with all warnings and liftgate operating instructions in the manual and never allow untrained persons to operate the liftgate. The BMR liftgates have a rated capacity between 3,500 pounds to 6,600 pounds depending on the model. 
Check the capacity decal of your particular model for its rated capacity. At no time should you ever place a load on the platform that is greater than the rated capacity of the liftgate. Always consider the safety and location of bystanders and the location of nearby objects when operating the liftgate. Ideally, position safety cones on the outer edge of the loading area. Be certain that the area the liftgate will move through during operation is clear of all obstacles. Stand to one side of the platform while operating the liftgate. Never allow any part of your body to be placed under, within, or around any portion of the moving liftgate or its mechanisms, or in a position that would trap you between the platform and the floor of the truck or trailer body, or between the platform and the ground when the liftgate is operated. You will also find a series of warning decals on the liftgate. Make sure you understand and comply with all of these warnings prior to operating the liftgate. Always keep these decals clean and legible. Free replacement decals can be ordered by calling Maxon Customer Service at 1-800-227-4116. Never drive or allow a forklift to be driven onto the liftgate platform. And do not move the vehicle unless the liftgate is properly stowed. Always be sure to correctly stow the platform when not in use. Extended platforms could create a hazard for people or vehicles passing by. A correctly installed liftgate will operate smoothly and reasonably quiet. The only noticeable noise during operation is from the power unit while the platform is being opened, lowered on power down on demand equipped models only, raised or closed. Listen for scraping, grating and binding noises and have the problem corrected before continuing to operate the liftgate. Never use a cell phone while operating the liftgate. And above all, please use common sense when operating the liftgate. Before operating your liftgate, there are some daily checks that need to be performed. Check the master disconnect switch located on the outside of the pump box. If this switch is in the off position, it cuts the power to the liftgate, which is necessary when servicing the unit. Therefore, if the liftgate does not operate, check this switch first and make sure it is in the one position or when equipped with dual pumps in the one or two position. Visually check that the pump cover is on securely and undamaged, and look for hydraulic fluid leaking from the pump box. Check the hydraulic cylinders for leaking seals and hose connections. Follow the hydraulic hoses from the cylinders to the pump box. Make sure that all hoses are connected at both ends and that there are no cracks, chafing, or fluid leaks in the hoses or fittings. Check the hydraulic fluid level. For a correct reading, the gate must be in the stowed transit position. The fluid level should be at the marking on the tank. If it is below the minimum mark, inform your service center and have the problem corrected before you go out on your route. Check the platform support chains for twisting and worn out links. Check that both the main control switch and the runner switch are in place and undamaged. Confirm that the automatic hydraulic safety locks are in place and undamaged. Visually check that all warning and instruction decals are in place, clean and undamaged. Check for rust, dirt and oily surfaces on the liftgate. If any appear, then clean off the liftgate prior to use. Check all weld surfaces for cracks or breaks, bends or weld fatigue. Most importantly, you should make sure that the liftgate is operating smoothly. When the liftgate is moving, listen for unusual noises and look for jerking motion or uneven movement on either side of the platform. The only noise you should hear when operating the lift is the sound of the hydraulic motor. If any of the operation checks reveal a need to service or repair the liftgate, do not operate the unit until a qualified mechanic completes the service or repair. Also initiate regular quarterly and annual preventive maintenance checks. A preventive maintenance checklist can be found in the BMR Maintenance Manual and on the Maxon website, www.maxonlift.com. Please note that there are two standard control locations. The main control switch is located at ground level 
and it allows the operator to raise, lower, unfold, and fold the platform while standing on the ground. If your BMR is equipped with the optional power down on demand, then the main control as well as the runner switch feature push buttons that allow you to turn the power down function on and off. The runner switch is accessible from the platform and allows the operator to raise and lower the platform only. The switch remains within reach when the operator rides the platform up and down. To open the platform, first push the toggle switch to the down position to lower the platform until arrow and column decals are about even. This releases the platform from the locking wedges on the liftgate columns. Next, press the upper toggle switch to the left or unfold position and the lower toggle switch up until the platform reaches the unfolded horizontal position and then release both switches. Ideally, always use both hands during the platform unfold and fold operation. Next. Lower the platform to the ground by moving the toggle switch on the control box to the down position. Release the toggle switch when the platform reaches the ground. If the gate is equipped with an optional retention ramp, there are three different functions to select from. Stowed, retention, and ramp. To unfold the retention ramp, pull on the lock handle and open the ramp. To unfold the ramp for loading, pull again and rotate the ramp to the ground. Now the load can be placed on the platform. Place all loads as close as possible to the inboard edge of the platform with the heaviest part toward the truck or trailer body. Typical devices to move loads are mechanical or electrical pallet jacks, carts, and dollies. Remember to never drive a forklift across the platform, however. Move loads across the ramp onto the platform but never rest or raise loads on the ramp. If your lift gate is equipped with an optional retention ramp, fold it to the retention position once the platform is loaded. When operating the platform with a load, make sure to stay in a safe area away from the edges of the platform and always maintain three points of contact. Use the runner switch to raise the platform from the ground level to the bed height. Release the switch when the platform reaches bed height. Now, carefully move the load into the vehicle. When loading is finished, use the runner switch to lower the platform to ground level. If there are more loads to be put in the vehicle, repeat the previously shown steps. When loading is finished, stow the platform. For unloading, the sequential steps required are similar to loading but with minor changes. First, push the toggle switch to the down position to lower the platform until aero decals are about even. Next, use the main control to unfold the platform. Press the upper toggle switch to the left or unfold position and the lower toggle switch up until the platform reaches the unfolded or horizontal position. If equipped with the optional retention ramp, unlock it and put it in the retention position. Now step onto the platform and use the runner switch to raise the platform from ground level to bed height. Always make sure to stay in a safe area away from the edges of the platform and always maintain three points of contact. Load the platform at bed level by pushing the load out of the vehicle to the correct position on the platform. Never pull the load from the vehicle onto the platform as this can result in a fall from the platform and serious injury. Place all loads as close as possible to the inboard edge of the platform with the heaviest part toward the vehicle body. A load should never extend past the edges of the platform. Do not place unstable loads on the platform and never allow the load to exceed the rated lifting capacity of the liftgate. While standing on the platform with the load, always stand in a safe area away from the edges of the platform and be sure to maintain three points of contact. Use the runner switch to lower the platform to the ground. Release the switch when the platform reaches ground level. Next, lower the retention ramp to the ramp position. Carefully move the load off the platform and then move it to a safe place where it will not become a hazard for people and other vehicles. If there is more to unload from the vehicle, repeat the previous unloading vehicle steps for each load. When unloading is finished, stow the platform. 
In order to stow the platform, use the main control to raise the platform until the decals on the left-hand column are aligned. Prevent damage to the lift gate by always aligning the arrow and column decal first before folding the platform. Now, fold the platform by pushing the upper toggle switches on the main control to the right or fold position while holding the lower toggle switch in the up position. Finally, raise the platform all the way up into the upper locking position. Now the gate is securely stowed and ready for transit. Dock loading or unloading requires the platform to be lowered below dock level. The platform can be either lowered via the main control or the runner switch until it rests on the bottom steps. Release the switch when the top edge of the closed platform is below bed height and dock level and in the lower locking position. Always use the dock plate for moving loads between the dock and the vehicle. The dock plate must be supported by the dock and the vehicle floor it must not rest on the liftgate platform. Now loads can be moved between the dock and the vehicle without using the liftgate. As with any piece of equipment, the most important thing to remember is to follow all safety precautions. Always be aware of your surroundings and make sure you follow all operation procedures and safety warnings. If the liftgate is not working properly, discontinue any use and stow the liftgate if possible and have a qualified mechanic correct the problem. Properly conducting your pre- and post-trip inspections can help you identify problems before you get out on the road. Keep safety in mind by always using proper lifting techniques. Use three points of contact entering and exiting your vehicle and while loading and unloading. Never jump off the liftgate platform and always secure your load. Keeping these things in mind will ensure proper and safe use.